Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Tavis Leaf Glover and I'm going to show you how to build the dynamic symmetry grids inside of Photoshop. This time I'm going to show you how to build them inside of the square. So let's get into Photoshop. I'll show you how to do this. All right, so here we are in Photoshop, and as I mentioned in the other videos, we can build the root rectangles and they all start with the square. So let's build the square first and remember our settings from the last videos. We're gonna choose our rectangle tool down here and make sure it's set to shape. And then I usually set the pixels to two pixels and make sure the line is solid. And then also we wanna go in view and set up extras. That'll show you the little guide and make sure snap is on and I just push all. Okay, so that'll help us lock things in without having to fine adjust and fine tune things. So let's start with the square. That's what we're gonna be building this, all of the root rectangles in. So there's our square. And what we need is an arc swinging from this corner to this corner. I'm gonna create an ellipse that's based out of the center. I started on the corner, but right now I'm holding Shift and Option or Alt on the PC. And I'm just dragging it up until it shows me the guides and then I'm gonna release. So there's our arc. Now to build the root two first, all we have to do is draw the diagonal of the square. So let me zoom in a little bit. And I'm gonna go back to my line tool and start with the diagonal and lead it to the other corner here. And then this point that's meeting the arc, that's gonna be our root two. So what I'm gonna do is create a horizontal line side to side, and then I'm gonna nudge it up to this eye that's created. An eye is any intersection point, and it can be on the edges too. This is considered an eye. And any line can be generated from these eyes as you develop the dynamic symmetry grids further. Let me show you how to build the root three. So this is the same size as our root two, and to check that, I've built these grids. over 140 grids and I use them in actions in Photoshop so I can push play and it's usually played onto an image. I like them white so right now they're white but I'm going to inverse that set this to multiply and then you can start to see the grid. So I'm going to transform this command T and just line this up just to show you that it's the same exact size as the root 2. So there we have the root 2 inside of a square, which is pretty cool. All right, so let me show you how to do the root 3. And all we have to do now is use our line tool and continue to draw diagonals from each rectangle that's created. So now we're drawing a diagonal across the root 2, and this intersection point is going to be our root 3. So now I'm going to draw the horizontal and nudge that up there. You just slide it up holding shift and it constrains it to this the edges here so that now this proportion is our root three and now we're going to draw a diagonal across the root three and that's going to give us the root four location right here push v for my selection tool up here and just use the arrow keys to nudge it into place that looks good okay we can keep going and let's do the root five and six another diagonal across the root four and this is the intersection point for our root five and this is pretty interesting, knowing this technique, how to build it inside the square. And I'll show you why in just a sec. Let me finish doing the root six. So now we have our root five built. I'm gonna draw the diagonal across the root five and that's gonna give us the root six location. And I'm not being very precise. I would take more time on this kind of stuff if I were you, but I'm just doing it a little bit quicker for the video. So let me run this down, nudge it into place. So now we have, let me get this off here. So one is the square, then we have two, three, four, five, and six. Those are all the proportions of the root rectangle. So the interesting thing of knowing how to do this is because say we take the proportion, let me draw the proportion of say the root three. So let me draw the rectangle of the root three. I'm just gonna trace it out. Okay, so now I have my rectangle. Let me shrink these down. I'm gonna group them together. Just shift, hold shift across all the layers and push command or control G. And that's gonna group them. And I can name them root rectangles. All right, so now I'm gonna duplicate that, turn this off, and then push command E, and that's gonna flatten all those into the same layer. So now I'm gonna shrink this down, command T or control T, turn on my, this is a root three. I'm gonna name that root three just so I don't get confused. Okay, and then take the ones inside the square, shrink it down inside the root three. Once we have the knowledge of building it inside the square, we can create different root rectangles inside of other root rectangles. So here we have the 
root three rectangle. And then if we find the square of this rectangle, which is easy, you just use your rectangle tool, draw from corner to corner, hold shift, and that's gonna give you a square. So there we have the square. And say we wanna draw a root two inside of the root three. So we just find the square and build it like this. And then we have the proportions of the root two inside of the root three. So here we go. So now if we take that off, we have the root two inside of the root three. So now you can start to see how we have different proportions and divisions within the root three rectangle. So we can continue to do this with other root rectangles if we wanted to. All of this is geometry, all of it is mathematically proportioned. And if you get into it, you can start to see how each rectangle created relates to the other. So that's some interesting stuff. Stay tuned for more. I'm going to get more advanced videos for dynamic symmetry and how to draw the dynamic symmetry grids in a different way other than the basic armature. All right, so that's building the root rectangles inside of a square. Thank you so much for the support. I really appreciate it. Check out the site and I'll see you guys next time. Take care.